Hello. Today you find me in Fern Valley. I'm be streaming apart, and in between we'll be talking about our canine accomplices, or as us environmentalists call them, the yappy, wildlife-bothering little shit machines. Lovely. <laughs> When you're getting back from your finance job, you may hear your husband say, Darling, shall we take Flappy and Tarquin out for a little walk? And the wife would probably in today's society turn around and say, Oh no, that's what we paid Joanna for. Let's go to the gym. Because after spending a day in a cubicle with a lot of the decades, it's always nice to back that up by going and sweating with other douchebags and dickheads at the local gym and paying money to do it instead of taking your little shit machine out for a lovely walk. The problem with people like Joanna and other dog walkers is instead of having, you know, the lovely jaunt through the woods with your lovely little pooch, instead of that you get droves of six or seven dogs shitting everywhere that Joanna can't actually keep up with. So when you're walking past, you may see some poo. That's horrible. You may step in some poo. That's even worse. Or, like me, you may strim some poo and get it stuck to your face, possibly going into your mouth. Now that's horrible. Fifteen years ago, if you asked a young Rufus, what's your favourite animal, Rufus? A young Rufus would say dogs absolutely love them. They're so dumb, They're so happy all the time, so loyal. If you asked a modern day Rufus what his favourite animal was, I don't know what he'd say, but he certainly wouldn't say dogs. Because on a lovely little island like this, when you have a thousand dogs coming into the island from a rescue company, just one company, you get a little bit peeved when you're walking down a track, trying to do a transect, and all you can hear is fucking mutts. Um, or you're streaming a path, like we said, and you get it flung into your face. Doesn't do well for the love of mutts.